On Christmas Eve 2024, a human-made spacecraft came closer to the sun than any other piece of technology our species has ever made. The Parker Solar Probe, as it's called, came within 3.8 million miles from the solar surface, and its achievement is already making history. The probe, named in honor of heliophysicist Eugene Parker, who in 1958 was the first to theorize the existence of solar wind, left Earth in 2018 on board a United Launch Alliance Delta IV heavy rocket. As it approached its target, it became the fastest spacecraft our species ever created, moving at 430,000 miles per hour. But setting speed records is not why the probe was made and launched. American Space Agency NASA and the scientists who operate it hope it will give us a better understanding of how solar wind is generated and works, possibly leading to better ways of protecting our technology and way of life from the potentially devastating effects it may have. Since it performed its closest approach to the sun some seven months ago, NASA didn't share much on what was achieved. Earlier this week, however, the agency stunned the world by releasing a series of images, showing the sun from much closer than ever before. What you're seeing in there is solar wind and its features, including the constant stream of electrically charged subatomic particles that move at breathtaking speeds, 1 million miles per hour. In fact, you're looking at images captured inside the sun's own atmosphere, the corona. The Parker Solar Probe is equipped with four instruments designed to study the magnetic fields, plasma, energetic particles, and the solar wind itself. The images you're looking at were snapped using something called the Wide Field Imager for Solar Probe, or WASPR. Although for many of us, the ones not specifically trained in this field, the images appear to show just a sort of solar eruption as seen from the side and not much else, NASA is telling us we're actually looking at the star's own corona and solar wind itself. More importantly, they give scientists the first such close look at what happens to solar wind after it is released. Also visible is the region where the sun's magnetic field direction switches from northward to southward, the so-called heliospheric current sheet. Finally, the solar eruption we all see, officially called the coronal mass ejection, or CME, is there as well. In fact, we're seeing a collisions between several CMEs, captured for the first time in high resolution. The images show how CMEs pile up on top of one another, changing their trajectories as they collide. In doing so, they also accelerate charged particles and mix magnetic fields. People working on the data sent back by Parker are hopeful that these new images will help us vastly improve our space weather predictions to ensure the safety of our astronauts and the protection of our technology here on Earth and throughout the solar system. But the scope of the mission is already far greater than that. In the years it has been in space, the probe managed to prove it's one of the most capable and effective scientific instruments ever made, and the results it returned far exceed the ones of previous missions, including Mariner 2, Helios, Ulysses, Wind, and ACE, which studied the sun from afar. For instance, when it entered the corona for the first time back in 2021, the spacecraft revealed its boundary is far more complex and uneven than previously believed. It then pinpointed the origin of switchbacks, basically zigzagging magnetic fields at patches on the visible surface of the sun where magnetic funnels form. Finally, it confirmed the existence of two kinds of solar wind, fast and slow. The fast one, it seems, is powered by the switchbacks mentioned earlier, and they can reach speeds of almost 500 miles per second. On the other hand, slow solar wind travels at 220 miles per second, and it is twice more dense as its sibling. It was believed there are two kinds of slow solar wind, one with small-scale switchbacks, alphenic, and the other without, non-alphenic, and the Parker Solar Probe confirmed that to be true. Separately, it is the interaction between these two types of solar winds that has the potential to create moderately strong solar storm conditions at Earth sometimes rivaling those from CMEs, hence the importance of further study. The mission of the spacecraft will continue for the foreseeable future. It already came close to the sun two times this year, in March and June, but we're yet to learn whether it made some discovery of consequence, we'll keep an eye on the story for more details. The next close encounter of the probe with the sun is scheduled for September 2025.